Hello, this is Justin with Green Residential. So today I'm looking at a water heater. In particular, I'm looking at the discharge pipe that comes out of the temperature pressure relief valve. Now, as you can see, it moves up and down before going into the wall. So my question for this video is, is this code compliant? It's not to be snobby or anything like that. This is potentially a safety hazard. If scalding hot water quickly comes out of that temperature pressure relief valve to prevent an explosion, that water needs to quickly and safely escape without causing anyone harm or causing damage to the building. So let's examine what code has to say and see if this is code compliant. Okay, so this is the 2021 International Residential Code. I'm in Chapter 28. This is the latest version at the time of this recording. This is the requirements for the discharge pipe that comes out of the relief valve, the temperature pressure relief valve. And one of those rules, or one of those requirements, number nine, be installed to flow by gravity. So that hot water coming out of that temperature pressure relief valve needs to flow by gravity to the termination point which in this case is at the exterior of the house. Now there's another code that governs parts of the US as well, and that is the Uniform Plumbing Code. And here is the latest version, the 2024 version of that. And if we look at number three right here, it says, discharge pipe shall discharge independently by gravity through an air gap into the drainage system or outside of the building with the end of the pipe not exceeding two feet and not less than six inches above the ground and pointing downwards. So there we see independently by gravity. Now, there's also over here in the 2021 International Residential Code, it talks about materials which can be used for this pipe. And if you go over here, P2906.5, we see a list of different materials that are allowed, such as CPVC, copper, galvanized steel pipe, but we do not see PVC. And that's because PVC cannot handle that hot water. Now the UPC code also has stipulations on what type of piping is used. So this drain line should never be PVC. Another couple things to be aware of from the 2021 IRC code. So it needs to be independent from the drainage system of the house. Number one, not be directly connected to the drainage system which is different wording than what we saw on the UPC code where it talks about draining into the drainage system. Both codes also talk about no shutoff valves or restrictions or T's. Here's the UPC code followed by number 12 of the IRC code, not have valves or T fittings. And here number 10, terminate not more than six inches and not less than two times the discharge pipe diameter above the floor or waste receptor flood level rim. So what that's talking about here is say it discharges into the water heater drain pan, which is allowed in the International Residential Code, but believe it or not, it's not allowed in the Uniform Plumbing Code. So it could discharge there, but it needs to be two diameters of the pipe higher than the top level of that pan. So if water overflowed, it would not for some reason be, be sucked up via a vacuum through that pipe because that pipe would be above that highest level where the water would overflow. So it would never reach that pipe termination point. The UPC code also does not want that discharge pipe going below that flood level. One final thing to note is that both codes do not want that discharge pipe smaller than the temperature pressure relief valve opening. So whatever that temperature pressure relief valve opening is, whether it's one inch or three quarters, if it's three quarters, it needs to be at least three quarters. If it's one inch, it needs to be one inch. It should not be smaller than three quarters of an inch though. Okay, so here we are back at the water heater and this discharge pipe, as you can see, has this move up in the pipe, which will prevent any water from draining via gravity. Same problem over here. It has to move up up and into the wall. Water will not be able to do that if it's gravity drained. Another thing I don't like about this is all dissimilar materials. So here we have CPVC, which is allowed. It then goes to galvanized, which is also allowed. And then it goes to copper, which is also allowed. I just don't like the mismatch of different materials. 
But the main issue, whether you use the IRC or the UPC, this is not gravity drained and that needs to be repaired. So if you're a DIYer or a contractor that is unsure of what to do, what I would do is find out which code governs your area and follow the requirements of your code. In this video, I mainly pointed out the common errors that I see, but I didn't go through everything. There's other requirements in both these codes that you should be aware of as well. Well, I hope this video was informative and helpful. If you did find it helpful, it would be much appreciated if you hit that thumbs up button. And if you would like to find out more information like this, we put out videos like this on a regular basis, which cover code, simple repairs that many homeowners can do themselves, and just general house knowledge. So if you're not a subscriber yet, you should think about hitting that subscribe button. I'm so glad you caught this video. I hope you catch my next one. Have a great day, and bye for now.